A densely wooded area of Gaston County, occupied by a tent and warmed by a fire pit, is about to be transformed. Thanks to the support of donors, an exuberant platoon of seminarians and religious sisters arrived on the property on a recent Sunday in a farm truck. They donned cassocks and surpluses and began to construct the St. Joseph's Seminary, but not with bricks and mortar, at least not just yet. Let us pray. Well, the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to um, come out here over the course of the next several months and begin to pray on the land. We wanted it blessed first by the bishop, and we'll be bringing the semin seminarians out here with some frequency just to pray the rosary, just to sort of sanctify the land that's here. Through the gift of your eternal wisdom, grant that the undertaking we begin today for your glory and our own well-being may progress day by day to its successful completion. The 86-acre, $1.1 million site was purchased using donated funds. Soon to be built on the property will be the administrative offices, classrooms, and eventually a chapel. It is a, a, a great beginning. Uh, in March of last year is when we officially erected the seminary and established uh, the uh, juridic personality of the seminary, and now uh, the Lord has been blessing us over the last year and a half since it was officially begun. And we see, therefore, uh, the need to have our own uh, building. Enrollment in the St. Joseph Seminary has exceeded expectations, with 16 men, college students, currently in formation. The rapid growth has pushed the original seminary construction budget from $7.5 million to 15 million. Fundraising for the seminary is currently taking place outside the Diocese of Charlotte. Diocesan fundraising will begin in 2018. Uh, hopefully in the spring, if we can raise sufficient amounts of money, um, we're going to put a shovel in the ground, not just to put a cross down, uh, but to start building the building. After the blessing, Bishop Jugas and the seminarians hiked deeper into the property where four medals and a tiny crucifix were blessed and buried on the spot where the chapel will be built. Bishop Jugis and Father Kauth left the grounds in triumph, confident that the bulldozers, guided by prayer, will arrive soon. Adios. This is David Haynes for the Catholic News Herald.